You are about to listen to an extract from one of the Chavos novels written for children aged nine plus by the author, Anna McCann. What is Christmas all about? thought Delita as she wandered the streets. The beginning of the festivities. Nine consecutive days of candle-lit posadas centred around children. The purpose behind them was originally a practical way of teaching the children about the story and birth of baby Jesus. Sadly, much of the meaning had been lost as the emphasis moved to merrymaking, the ruthless smashing of piñatas and a mad scramble for the fruits and sweets that they contained. Decorated Christmas trees and nativity scenes with clay figures could be seen in many of the homes. She had caught glimpses through the windows of some of the homes as she passed by. Delita wandered for hours. At one point she managed to sneak into the foyer of a grand hotel before being discovered by a brusque security guard and thrown out. How she sneaked in was a daring feat for a street kid, but something that she was determined to try. She hid behind the luggage trolley as a guest and his entourage pushed to get through the swing doors. Then she managed to squeeze between them and remarkably made it as far as the entrance to the restaurant. Raggy Man, her little dog, nestled snugly under her arm. Delita could hear talk of preparations for an exotic feast. Roast suckling pig, turkey, ham, wild greens in molly sauce and hot fruit punch. Oh, raggy man, I don't fancy the molly sauce. But I sure would like a piece of that turkey. Mmm, and raspberry truffle. Oh, sounds so good. But before she heard another word, she was discovered and escorted rather roughly out of the building. What a commotion. She was only a kid after all. Why had she created so much attention? Hmm. <laughs> Don't think they like us, Raggy, she laughed, examining her bruised and scuffed knees as her little body scraped the pavement. Silently walking away from the hotel, Delita recalled the stories that Christmas Eve was always rounded off with the opening of presents for the children. Slumping in a doorway, Raggy Man by her side, the sadness overwhelmed her. She didn't know how long it had been since she had even eaten, the hunger pains now gripping her stomach. A Mexican family crossed the street and their two young children chattered gleefully as they tossed sunflower seeds to a few wandering pigeons. Their little girl carried a rag doll. A young Indian girl passed by, her children trailing behind, carrying all their worldly belongings in green plastic bags. A boy ran to catch up with them, holding an enormous drum bass. It looked heavy, and the poor little mite could barely see over the top of it. The church bells rang out in the distance, as a tall, skinny boy picked up a dirty plastic cup that had the dregs of a cappuccino, which had been discarded. He slurped the remaining contents, grimaced and spat them out. Then... After burying his head in a nearby trash can, he surfaced with several items of scraps. He ravenously ate what looked like the remains of an enchilada. Delita studied every one of them quietly. They were all living in the same city, yet how different their lives must be. She reached over and pulled Raggyman to her side, squeezing him with all the love she could muster. So, indeed, what is Christmas all about? I suppose that depends on who is asking the question. Her mind drifted. She thought of the other homeless kids, dealing with the pain and misery of the streets. 
Did I do something wrong, Raggy? Was it my fault? Why was I abandoned to live on the streets? In spite of the love she had for her little dog, she felt a huge chasm of loneliness. Knowing that she mustn't give up hope, she thanked God for her friends, the other street kids, yes. But the desire to have a family, a real home, and share with them the Christmas festivities, it burdened her. Tears fell from her cheeks. She snivelled and wiped them away. She remembered. Hmm. Street kids don't cry. <laughs>